Uh, so we've just arrived here at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez track and uh, we're going to go and do some filming. So what's the plan for this morning? Go out on a live track and dodge traffic. <laughs> However, you never know. You've always got to be careful in the pit lane. Last year we did have a little accident. Rob, one of the guys from Andretti, was actually hit by one of the cars uh, because of exactly that reason. If we're not actually walking that fast, but I'm already out of breath. It's because of the altitude. This is actually one of the highest races in the world. It's definitely the highest race in Formula E at two and a half thousand meters above sea level. So wandering around, even though we're really not going that fast, I'm already out of breath. So it's going to be interesting how that affects the drivers um, and also affects the cars because you, you're probably going to have a little bit less drag on the car but then also reduce downforce so it'll be interesting to see how that affects them tomorrow because it's friday today race day is tomorrow uh, right let's go and do some filming for cnn Hermanos Rodriguez circuit. No. No, no, no. Because <laughs> Autodromo means circuit. Yeah, right. Okay. Just so I've just bumped into Oliver Turvey. Oliver, what are you up to today? Uh, here in Mexico City. Just uh, been around the track with the engineers. Oh, so you've just done a track walk. Okay, yeah. so this is a kind of standard thing. Friday morning before the race, about 11 o'clock, all the drivers go for a track walk with their teams. Well, turn one's changed. So uh, yeah, it's a little. Bit, uh, last year was a chicane, but now it looks like a, a faster corner, so that's going to be interesting. I.e., more overtaking opportunities. I think it should should create a bit better overtaking opportunity, um, a nicer mm -hmm. corner for us to drive as well. And in addition to race day tomorrow, there's something very exciting happening. Oliver's turning thirty. I am. I am. <laughs> He's becoming an old man like me. <laughs> yeah. It'd be great to win the race on my birthday, but um, yeah, the, it's obviously the the most important thing is the, the race, and then. Um, Hopefully have a little celebration in the evening. Okay, so thanks Oliver. Good luck and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the podium. Yep, thanks. So I'm actually just here at the FIA garage. This is where all the cars get weighed. There is obviously the minimum weight that every car has to be at, which is 880 kilos. And so they've obviously got to check they're not underweight. In fact, last year, Lucas Rapassi was disqualified for his car being underweight, so it's quite important. Loic Deval is one of the drivers, and so is Jerome D'Ambrosio. And they're having a very deep, important conversation. If she, if she stops to say hi, it's because she needs something. See, she needs, she's, she's filming something, so she's like, oh, I'm going to stop by, say hi. Because otherwise she passes by you and like... I try and ignore Jerome as much as possible. Um, did you enjoy yesterday? So yesterday, Jerome was in the market with Lucas Degrassi. Uh, Tasting. I love them because I know that we're all Yeah, okay, well, yeah, I was very anyway, cautious. I had a very little sip of it, you know, but it actually was good. It's just that you don't want to go a little, uh, you don't want to go too wild with, you know, food you're not used to before uh, before race week, and that might end up uh, might end up in a funny situation. Yeah, basically, or not so funny. <laughs> Jerome, Jerome and Lucas, and I mean, fair enough. They did throw a bit of their sort of diva straw. I'm not having tacos. I'm not having spicy food. Did you call me a diva? Yeah. You just called me a diva. Okay guys, see you. Thank you very much. I'll see you when I need you for another interview. So one of the things that I have to do during a race weekend is voiceovers. So all the VTs or the videos that you see that play at the beginning of the programme before the race starts has obviously got a voice to it. This is Daryl, the editor. So it's basically a bit of a summary of what happened in the last race, which is when Sebastian Vettel really won. And now we're going to lay down some voiceover. In one take. In one take, exactly, of course. That's how I always roll, in one take. <laughs> So Wemi makes it three out of three, opening up a 29 point advantage in the driver's standings. With a lead that is not yet unassailable, his opponents will be looking for any chink in the Swiss armor to make up the deficit. That's perfect. Awesome. Thank you very much. I've got the thumbs up from Daryl. Right, we're going to go do something else now. So this is the very glamorous TV compound where the real magic happens. Um, now we're about to go out for Shakedown, which is the Basically the chance for the drivers to test their cars out before the race happens on Saturday. It's Friday afternoon. It always happens at three o'clock. It's now 20 to three. I've just got kitted up, got my microphone hiding behind, got my earpiece in so I can hear the director and the commentary. And now I'm gonna go and find my team, my crew, my cameraman, my sound man, and we are gonna head out onto the circuit. See you later.
so I'm in the pit lane. The shakedown has just started. Uh, as you can see, that's Lucas Degrassi heading out on track for the first time this year. Really just testing out the car before race day tomorrow. We're having great fun down here. <laughs> Hate you. This is Spot My Sound Man. He says he hates me, but I know he loves me really. I love that. This is Steve, my own counselor. Hello, hello. This is the fabulous Miss Nikki Shields, who's awesome. Just a dream team. Oh, oh coming. <laughs> So this is where I hang out for most of the race, basically during the pit lane in a garage waiting for something to happen, waiting to interview someone. The Virgin team are, are quite used to me basically hanging around waiting for something to happen and also I get to watch some of the race on their big screens behind me. They've got a pretty impressive setup as you can see. Uh, but obviously two of the drivers are out on the track and we're just waiting for them to come back. So it's home time, unfortunately, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe below and you'll get to see what I'm up to next, which in fact is probably gonna be one of the most exciting things I'm doing this year. I'm gonna be test driving the brand new McLaren 720S in Rome, of course. So do subscribe below and you'll see that coming very soon.